still is a group struggling with our throwing. Okay? All of us. Now, in judo, I think the throw is the easiest part. The actual throw, learning the throw, is simple. Okay? But the actual throwing bit, introducing it into your competition and your round dory, is actually the really difficult bit. Okay? So that's what we need to really work on. All of you have got quite nice technique. Okay? But you don't ever get a chance to do it because you're not quite in the positions to throw. Okay? So, same side of the opponent. That's key. We've looked at the last few weeks moving our lapel, making our lapel our hand tip. Now we're going to add direction. Okay? Now, what's happening a lot of the time, we're both getting in stance, we're here. We're either staying still or we're, we're moving towards our partner like this. Now, forcing ourselves towards our partner, so just around, forcing us here locks us off in an extreme position. Okay? This extreme right view right or left view left becomes really difficult to throw. Okay? So we're going to focus on moving in the other direction today. Okay? So if we're right view right, all we're going to do to start with is we're going to move around this way. Yeah? Now as we move, our partner will obviously move with us. Okay? So we're here, we're going to move round to this side. Now when we're moving, what's really important is that we don't do this. Okay? Because if we do this, my, yeah, my partner's just going to tap like that. Okay? When we're moving in stance, we move little by little. Here. But we don't cross our legs back. Okay? So that's just our first drill. From here, in this position, here. Everybody understand? Let's go. Let's start with that. Try and remember, we're looking to find a position to throw. We're not on a merry-go-round. We're not trying to spin our partner around. So we're not here, leaning back, and trying to whiz them around the ring. Okay? That's not the idea. If our body is, or a better way, if our legs are in front of our head, it's really difficult to turn your back because you're off balance. Okay? So whilst I'm moving here, all I'm looking to do is circle this back leg. Okay? And it's not coming behind me because every time I move, I'm adjusting my body and my foot. Okay? I'm not getting to a point where I'm like this, where my body's going one way, my feet are going a different way. Okay, I'm always correcting, yeah? And I'm moving towards that lapel side. Now, as I'm moving here, I'm trying to keep my chest up, okay? Not down. Here, chest up. Now, you can go from the lapel or slightly round if you want, but just yeah, not nice. deep for this, okay? So we're here in this position. Stay nice and strong. Here, and just move around. All right, let's carry on. So on over our front foot is quite an easy movement and especially from here keeping our partner going on for us. All we're going to do now is keep our partner moving around and then we're just going to turn. Okay? So from here we're going to start moving up one, two, three, and when you're ready, you're going to come round. Okay? Now this is a really basic movement. Keep it simple, don't try and complicate at the moment. All you're looking for is your partner to keep putting their weight on this foot. Okay? That's all we're looking for as we're coming round. Why would I grab closer to the elbow and not closer to the sleeve in this movement? More pull. More pull, yeah. We talked about it before. If we're here and we try and pull like this, the hands attached to our lapel, you're never going to get enough break of balance. But from here, I can start to pull. But not only pull, look now. His shoulder's actually moving on to his foot. Okay? So from here, as we're coming round, we're one, two, and then throw. Yeah, your choice from turning throw. Let's go. This direction is much more than just a movement, okay? One of the reasons why we struggle to throw, or a few of the reasons we struggle to throw, okay, especially when we're gripped up with our partner, okay? We're here, our arm might be too stretched away, we might try and lift, but we get no power, okay, because of the distance, but also because our partner's pulling down, okay? So just from this structure of my arm, it becomes really difficult to throw. So everything that we do becomes quite difficult to move and a bit sluggish. Okay? When I move in this direction, I'm not just moving in this direction. What I'm doing is closing this distance on this side. I'm moving around and I'm encouraging this. Okay? The same way as I'm pulling on this sleeve, as I'm moving around here, I'm trying to get my elbow nice and close to my body. 
because this encourages my lift and my throw. Okay? We talked about it before. To be able to lift up other up, we have to be here to turn. Okay? When I'm here and I'm here, this power arm, my strong arm, is now straight. Now I can't I can't do anything with it. Okay, or it's difficult, really difficult. So just by moving my body this way, here, into this position, I'm actually starting to get some power into my arm. I'm starting to load it. Okay? Now when you turn, a few of you, what you're doing is you're doing a nice movement, nice movement, then you're swinging this leg right round. So as you're moving, you're going one, two, and you're off balance. Okay, you're just too far away. So as we're moving from here, we're going one, two, here. I'm moving close and across my partner. So now as I'm lifting and driving, I'm in a good position to throw. Okay? Here, move, move, move. And then throw. Yeah? Let's go. If I was looking at difficulty of this, this would be fairly low because all we're doing is creating one, one action to throw. Okay, so obviously if we were to take these on levels, we would build more reactions in, okay? But when we're creating this movement, we don't just have to turn our back, okay? We could use things like Kochidari or Sasai Tsurikamiyashi, you know, anything like that. Now, all we need to think about is just encouraging this movement around, okay? So here, one, two, we're still coming around. So if we're doing a technique like Sasai, we're just going to be here as they're coming around, okay? So we're moving around from this position here. If I was doing sat side, I would most probably prefer to grab underneath on the elbow rather than on the top, okay? Because that, you'll lose a lot of power just in lifting your hand up like that, okay? At least there you can get a lot more control. So from here, you'd be circling one, two, three, and then, sorry, Lisa, and then you're gonna come through, okay? So from this position here, we're circling, one, two, three, and then we come in, okay? Kouchi, similar sort of idea, we're in this position, we'll move around one, two, and then sit and throw on Kouchi, okay? So this time you can pick whether you want to do the south side or the Kouchi, up to you, but I want you to still encourage this movement around, nice and slow, so we use your lapel hands, do your there. Then, switch, whatever one you want to do. Everybody understand? Mm -hmm. Let's go. 